Chatham County judge says move forward with a lawsuit against a former Metro Police Chief, Willie Lovett, and the current Tybee Island Police Chief, Robert Bryson. These men are accused of protecting their circle of friends, even if it meant firing police officers who arrested them. Our Danielle Lewan met with an attorney representing the former Tybee officer, Stacy Talbert. Now, she says she was one of those police officers fired for charging one of the chief's buddies with DUI. This all started with former Savannah Police Chief Lovett giving his close friends police badges to use as a protection against the law. Two police officers ignored the threats and busted a couple of those friends for a DUI. They claim they were fired for it, and today a judge agreed there's enough evidence for a million-dollar case. Body cam footage of former Tybee police officer Stacy Talbert arresting businessman Jay Kaminsky for DUI. He was incapable of standing upright. Um, at, at one point on the body cam footage, you literally kind of see him fall over to the side. Little did the city know Kaminsky was in bed with former Chatham County Police Chief Lovett. The lawsuit also says Kaminsky offered his home to Lovett for extramarital sexual encounters. The lawsuit then claims Kaminsky, Lovett, and Tybee Police Chief Robert Bryson met for breakfast the next morning after Kaminsky's DUI and agreed to wipe the charge from his record and fire Officer Talbert. Talbert. And they accomplished getting his charges dismissed by having Officer Talbert fired so she would not be available to testify in the criminal case. Documents show Talbert passed her previous employee performance evaluation swimmingly, including attendance and punctuality. Chief Bryson fired her for failure of probationary period, but Bryson indicated in the documents she had received verbal warnings about tardiness and conduct, no written warnings. Blood tests were sent off for alcohol testing and commenced DUI. They came back negative. Attorney Will Claiborne says drug tests take a little longer. Sure enough, the report came back from the GBI showing Kabinsky was driving high on four separate prescription drugs. That evidence never came to light. They took and actually just threw, we believe, threw those uh, test results away in the trash can. With all that evidence, today the judge gave the go-ahead for the civil trial to move forward. Claiborne says the search for similar cases is also underway. We're looking into things like what DUIs have been dismissed out at Tybee and for whom have they been dismissed and why. Former police officer Stacy Talbert is seeking more than a million dollars in damages. I did speak with the Tybee Mayor Jason Buelterman on the phone. He did not want to speak on camera, but says the city plans to back Chief Bryson and fully defend any charges.